Good morning and welcome to the Memorial Day edition of Ellen White Speaks, where we share excerpts from the writings of author Ellen G. White. It is Monday, May 27th, 2024. This is Past Events. Good morning. Thank you for waking up with me on this Memorial Day Monday. Um, I know we've been off for some time, had some business to take care of, had some challenges to deal with, but we're back for another edition of Ellen White Speaks. Thank you for hanging in there with us. Thank you for not unsubscribing to this podcast. Um, As I said, we have some challenging times that we're going through right now personally, as well as here here at the ministry. And um, we just needed to take some time off to, to you know, to get some things done, to recuperate, and, uh, and to come back fresh on this Monday morning. Today, we're going to continue with uh, our study of the angel of Revelation 18. We're in chapter 5 still of the Three Angels' Messages book by Ellen G. White. Uh, The Three Angels' Messages, God's Proclamation for the Last Days. So today's excerpt is still concerning uh, the angel of Revelation 18. I'm not going to read the entirety of Revelation 18. I have been reading uh, from Revelation 18, verses 1 through 5, as well as verse 20. But we're going to focus on that part of the passage that says, Come out of her, my people. That's what we're going to focus on today. That's what this excerpt, that's what this quote is dealing with. Come out of her, my people. So this particular quote is entitled, The Majority of Christ's True Followers Are Still in Babylon. The Majority of Christ's True Followers Are Still in Babylon. Here's what Ellen White says. Uh, And uh, by the way, this quote is coming from GC, which is The Great Controversy. Pages 383, 390 from 1911. She says, In the 18th chapter of the Revelation, the people of God are called upon to come out of Babylon. According to the scripture, many of God's people must still be in Babylon. And in what religious bodies are the greater part of the followers of Christ now to be found? Without doubt, in the various churches, professing the Protestant faith. Notwithstanding the spiritual darkness and alienation from God that exists in the churches which constitute Babylon, the great body of Christ's true followers are still to be found in their communion. There are many of these who have never seen the special truths for this time. Not a few are dissatisfied with their present condition and are longing for clearer light. They look in vain for the image of Christ in the churches with which they are connected. As these bodies depart further and further from the truth and ally themselves more closely with the world, the difference between the two classes will widen and it will finally result in separation. The time will come when those who love God supremely can no longer remain in connection with such as are lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Revelation 18 points to the time when, as the result of rejection, of rejecting the threefold warning of Revelation 14, 6-12, the church will have fully reached the condition foretold by the second angel, and the people of God still in Babylon will be called upon to separate from her communion. This message is the last that will ever be given to the world and it will accomplish its work. When those that believe not the truth but had pleasure in right unrighteousness according to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 12 shall be left to receive strong delusion and to believe a lie then the light of truth will shine upon all those hearts all will shine upon all whose hearts are open to receive it and all the children of the Lord that remain in Babylon will heed the call. Come out of her, my people. That's Revelation 18, verse 4. Again, that's coming from uh, Great Controversy, 383, 390, 1911. This quote or this excerpt is called, The Majority of Christ's True Followers Are Still in Babylon. Yes, friend, that is a powerful message. 
a powerful statement that Ellen White just made coming from the great controversy. Yes, there are many churches that are still in what is called uh, what is called Babylon, uh, uh, considered Babylon. Uh, there are people who have come. There are people who are uh, uh, who are continuing to come out of Babylon, but there are those who are still in Babylon. I've just described for you what Ellen White says uh, or, or how she defines Babylon according to the Bible, what churches are a part of Babylon, and um, we just pray that these churches will uh, come out of her, my people, that these churches will come out of Babylon and see and understand God's truth. Friend, please join me tomorrow for another edition of Ellen White Speaks. Have a great Memorial Day. Have a blessed day.